Good morning, lovies. Um, so I haven't checked in in a bit. I think last week, maybe. Um, I hope everyone had a great weekend. Um, today is like day 19 of phase four for me. And um, this is working out beautifully, knock on wood, because it looks like Tom is going to get here in the next three days which would be right about when I wanted to start um, round two. So timing-wise, I think it's going to work out perfectly, and I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm going to go to the doctor's today, stop by and pick up all my supplies. I do have some HCG left over from my last round, um, so I have it if I need it, but I wanted to get my B12 and all that other stuff. So I'm going to go by and pick up all that today and just make sure I'm ready to go when it happens. And it looks like I said I'll be probably loading um, Thursday. My doctor has me do four days of loading, two days without HCG, and then two days with HCG. So four total. So if that's the case, then I will be loading Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday if everything works out as planned. So I am looking forward to that. Um, Last week I was a little upset because I had gone to the, my general practitioners for an annual checkup and I got some blood labs done just to check my thyroid levels and just, you know, some basic blood tests. Um, and then I also request her to test other levels of things that I've been kind of um, monitoring for the last couple of years. Um, one of the things, I don't think most doctors test for this, but I've requested it because my functional medicine and naturopath doctors um, test for it, and it's called C-reactive protein, it's CRP, and that level, uh, that test measures the levels of inflammation in your body, and the higher the number, the higher your chances of cardiovascular disease. Um, and so, like they say, in some cases, that autoimmune disease can contribute to that number being higher, which I do have. I have Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, and then I also have endometriosis, which some doctors will debate whether that is a um, autoimmune disease or not, but I, I, from my research, believe that it is. And so anyway, um, my C-reactive protein at one point was up to six. And that, like, like, is off the charts. Like, my doctor told me that people with cancer have that high of a level of um, CRP. So he was very disturbed by that. And um, we eventually drove it down, not necessarily through a specific supplement or anything, I don't think. I mean, I know that omegas help, krill oil and omega-3s help, um, but more so through diet and exercise. And so over the course of the last two years, I've driven that number down into the two point something range, which still is high. Um, they consider anything above a three to be high risk, anything above a two to be moderate risk, and anything below one to be normal. So just to give you an idea of where I'm at, it's kind of off the charts. Um, so I had driven that down to a two point something, and I thought that it was just going to continuously get better with my diet and exercise because, you know, I, I eat well and HCG isn't necessarily a change of life for me in terms of how I um, eat. So I've been eating healthy and gluten free and all this other stuff for quite some time now. Although HCG has, you know, um, helped me to make some other improvements. So... The other day my test came back at 5.65 after I'd, I'd gotten it down pretty far to the two point something. So I was kind of shocked because I was thinking the blood labs were done after a 40 day round of HCG. If anything, I expected my numbers to be phenomenal because of the no starches, no sugars, and just eating really clean and really healthy. Well, my good cholesterol was low, my, high, my bad cholesterol was high, um, which is a first for me. Um, my CRP levels were off the charts again, and just overall, I was really disappointed with the numbers I was seeing. I mean, I look pre-diabetic. My insulin and glucose numbers, according to, to functional medicine doctors, um, would put me pre-diabetes. And, you know, losing 30 pounds, you would think that some of these numbers would be improved since the last time they had been checked, but they've gotten worse. So I had to start looking at things, and I'm trying to figure out what exactly is causing the problem. You know, I had started taking DHEA, which I had stopped taking, so I don't think that was an issue. I did take it for a couple weeks. Um, 
I did find from my research that pregnant women tend to have higher levels of CRP in their body. So I'm wondering if the HCG drove up, falsely drove up my, my, um, my CRP levels. Or is it the lack of exercise during HCG? I did, before I started HCG, I had a knee injury that took me out of my workout routine for almost two months. And then I did HCG, so I haven't been working out. I mean, I, like I said, I do yoga and stuff, but um, my workout routine has been really restricted severely. And so that's one thing that's different from when I drove the numbers down before I was working out five days a week. And now I, you know, just go to yoga class. So I was thinking that that might be an issue. So anyway, needless to say, I'm just really upset with these test results. Um, I am going to make an appointment with my naturopath um, to see what she can do to help me. Um, I did read that supplementing with vitamin C is helpful and also maybe vitamin E could be helpful in this situation. So I want to start supplementing and do what I can to get these numbers improved. I mean... The numbers I'm looking at, oh, and I also should mention that I have um, cardiovascular disease in my family. My grandfather, my paternal grandfather, died of a stroke in his late 50s, I believe. And then my father also had a heart attack and flatlined in his 50s, but they were able to retrieve him, revive him. So he is alive today. Um, but it's frightening because I carry their genetics. I take after that side of the family, and I'm just really concerned that I'm not going to live very long if I don't get this under control. I told my husband he better, if he doesn't have a good life insurance policy on me, he better get one. And, you know, I told my friends to take one out on me because this is like, it's frightening. According to what I'm seeing, if these numbers don't go down, I maybe have five years to live if I'm lucky. So, um, so I'm hoping that the second round of HCG helps, and I'm hoping that my naturopath can help, and I'm just hoping for a bunch of different things, and I'm hoping that whatever is driving that number up is just falsely driven up and it's not true information. So if anybody has information on C-reactive protein, it's called CRP, um, let me know, and um, that's all I got. I'm going to go check out some blogs today and see, well, vlogs see how everyone's doing. I hope you're all doing well, and I will talk to you again real soon. Bye.